Well, my goodness me, what a men's doubles that was. Coming back from a match point down, the world champion sneak through against the English combination of Lane and Vendy. Well, we're sticking with men's doubles, and up next, we've got more Japanese interest with uh, Matsui and Takauchi up against the world championship bronze medalists, Kim Astrup and Anas Rasmussen. After that, we'll have women's doubles, then men's singles, mixed doubles, and we finish this afternoon. It'll probably be evening by then with a men's singles. So that last men's doubles was from the top half of the draw. We're now going to look at the bottom half of the draw. And I can tell you of the eight pairs in the bottom half of the draw, five pairs have either won a world championship or Olympic medal. Quite extraordinary. And the pair that is already through, a son and Setia won. They are two-time winners of the All England title. That was back in 2014 and 19. Coming through against the former world champions, Liu Cheng and Jiang Nan, in three games. So who will meet a son and Setia won in tomorrow's quarterfinal? We are about to find out. Will it be the Danes? Astrup and Rasmussen, or will it be uh, Matsui and Takauchi of Japan? Absolutely world class lineup in the men's doubles uh, discipline. Championships 2022. Please welcome our technical officials and players onto court number one. It's the men's doubles featuring Japan's Keichiro Matsui and Yoshinori Takauchi. And their opponents from Denmark, the number seven seeds, Kim Astrup and Anders Karup Rasmussen. So our master of ceremonies just announcing these two pairs to the fans here in Birmingham. And... As far as Matsui and Takaichi are concerned, well, they've just reached a career high in the rankings, so that indicates that they're in good form at the moment. The toss of the coin, the first duty of our umpire. And that's not altogether surprising to me. This the first meeting between these two pairs. Well, in international terms, there's no question in my mind that the Danes are far more experienced. In fact, they were semi-finalists at last year's All England Championships. Lost out to Komora and Sonoda, men's double pair from Japan that has since retired, retired after the Olympic Games. So, Kichiro Matsui, 27 years of age. 169, that's about 5 foot 7. And as I was telling you, they've just gone up to their career high. Went up five places after reaching the quarterfinal of last week's German Super 300 event. And in fact, a quarterfinal at a World Tour event is the best they've ever done. His partner, Yoshimori Takauchi. He's 29 years of age from Saitama Prefecture, part of the greater Tokyo region. Well, they really came to my notice, I have to say, when they reached the quarterfinal of the World Championships last December in Huelva in Spain. Lost out to the pair who went on to win the gold medal, the pair we've just been watching in the previous match, Huki and Kobayashi. First All England appearance for this Japanese pair, though. And as far as their opponents are concerned, Kim Astrup is the left-hander, turned 30 earlier this month, 185, 
Uh, that's just under six foot one. Currently number 10 in the world ranking, have been as high as five. Two different spells at number five in the world, a total of just three weeks. The bronze medal at the World Championships really was a milestone, I think, for Ready this Danish pair as we look at Anna's Rasmussen, 33 years of age now from Orthe, which is about 20 kilometers south of Aarhus. Aarhus, of course, is where we had the Thomas and Uber Cup finals last autumn. Nicola Reid is our umpire for this one. Gavin Smith, also of England, will be the service judge. And I can tell you that the Danes came through their first round match in three games against Yula and Van der Lek of the Netherlands. And the Japanese pair came through in two straight games in their first round yesterday. That was against the 2018 European Junior Champions, Del Rue and Villager from France. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kim Astrup and Anna Scarab Rasmussen, Denmark. And on my left, Keichiro Matsui and Yoshinori Takeuchi, Japan. Kim Astrup to serve, to Yoshinori Takeuchi, love all, play. So the left and right-handed combination, the World Championship bronze medalists from Denmark. Service over. One love. Vastly more experienced than their Japanese opponents in this level of event. And of course, the All England Championships is to badminton what Wimbledon is to tennis. It's the oldest and most prestigious tournament on the world tour. And Steen, I'm guessing it's that experience that uh, probably over. makes them favourites, the Danes, not just that they've got a higher right ranking. Yeah, uh, I, think it, I think it is. Um, they've been playing at this level for a um, longer time, more years than uh, their Japanese opponents. Oh, there's some his hit by um, uh, a tall Two, man. One. And um, I had a little chat to Anas Rasmussen uh, at breakfast this morning here and, and they feel that um, a lot of the um, a lot of the tactics is um, Three, one. is surrounded uh, or is based on um, on um, Takuchi because he, he's um, seeking a lot backwards uh, according to the Danes and they will try to um, exploit that so Oh, clash of rackets, oh, yeah. and he's missed it. He's missed the opportunity. Four, one. Tomatsui with the um, black tights on there, looking a little bit like a reminiscent of um, Takeshi Kamura. Yeah, compression stockings. Oh, now that's nice. Obvious shot was straight down the line. One. Well, that's great awareness from Kim Astrup. Service over. Two, five. Service over. Six, two.
Oh, that's good defence. Yeah, he took that off his right hip, over. did Matsui. Yeah, that was fabulous. Really, really close to the net. High quality. say I think the Danes have come out very very positively yeah that's the the style that um, we've seen over. them in the last couple of tournaments Seven, I think they've three. gained a lot of um, if not confidence then um, sort of uh, being more relaxed after their world championship medal for a lot of Danes championship medals is a goal that sort of your career is a success i think that's true of any player isn't it i i, I hope it is but yeah but i could also see some nations where In. the goals are a bit higher where you need to win a world championship title mm. um and i feel that um the Danes have improved in their uh, non-preferred formation with Anas Rasmussen at the net and Kim Astrup at the back of the court and they're getting a lot of help here in the beginning because they're playing with the drift so there's a bit more sting to their smashes their attack um, drift alongside the court from the Nine, Danes towards so Matsui and uh, Takuchi Service nice over. Four, nine. All attacked by the Danes. Well, they're on the flat drives. Five, nine. Oh, confusion. Yeah. Six, nine. Not probably enough pressure on that front court shot from Kim Astrup, Steen. I must admit I wasn't really paying attention because um, in one of the other courts, Opriani Rahayu is receiving treatment, so I was just um, keeping an eye on that. I, I'll return to this court now. Good power play from Kim, from Anna's Rasmussen. Service over. Ten six. Oh, Boy, look at that! Beautiful return. Oh, what a shot! Service over. Seven, ten. It's almost like a uh, single style defense there. Yeah. Oh. Service, Sarah. Service over. Eleven, From seven. That sweet. Interval. And it is a five-point advantage for the number seven seeds from Denmark here at the mid-game interval in the opening game. Yeah, good point there, coach. Yeah, I think him and Lille have best it. Yeah. And it's ramt him a little bit. Yeah, and that's what we have to remember. And we have something here, so we can have a good time. Yeah, 
moment og grund til det, det er, fordi så, kan, så kan du følge den, som du vil. Oh, altså, ja. med intuitiv på nettet og andre, så skal du dække dig i vandet. Ja, ja, ja. 20 seconds. Er klar? For 20 seconds. Well, I suppose the obvious uh, question, Steen, is seven. that uh, the Japanese player have got to stop the Danes, yeah. presumably, from attacking so much. And the easiest way to do that is to get on the attack themselves. Exactly. They've got a challenge on uh, the front court, in my opinion. Yeah, like that yes. and like that. Oh, Good that's shot. a beauty. What a lovely drop shot. And we took that mm. silly. We took, ooh, we're far from the court here in our country position. Are we sure that's not Kimura? <laughs> because it definitely looked like <laughs> one of his shots. Takeshi Kimura, yes. We miss him on the circuit, don't we? Yeah. at the moment, Matsui and uh, Takeuchi. Service Tukuchi. over. 12-8. At least in this rally here, made it way too easy for Thomas Rasmussen here to uh, put it away. Oh, that was one of those tumble serves, wasn't it? Did you see 13, that, Sting? 8 Yeah. Chops underneath the It's a really, really the good um, shuttle. server. Yeah. And it just there it is again. Bobbles about. And it's tumbling. Eight. Much more than I've seen earlier. Here, it almost turns upside down. And the net, when it crosses the net, that's when it's important to see. Service over. 9.40. Is that three service errors now service by the Japanese over. pair? I think 15, it is. No, it's difficult. Well, at least two of them from Matsui. Oh, oh that's beauty. clever. Generated the power 16, to drive that across court nine. with very, very little backswing. Oh. Gone wide, I think. You think it's wide? Well, there are the Danes seem to agree with you. It was called good. First challenge of this men's doubles. Here we go. What does the instant review say? Clearly out. My goodness, how was that called in? Correction, out. Good challenge. 17-9. Play. Well, we know from watching the Danes in the past team 18, that they very much have their fo favoured formation, which is Kim Astrup really trying to threaten the front court area. And this man, Rasmussen, using his power from the back of the court. But have you spotted a, a favoured formation from the Japanese pair? I, th I definitely think it's um, Matsui at the net and Takeuchi at um, the back Service court. Over. The problem 10, is they haven't 18. had a lot of chances to um, establish that formation. First one to come forward, Matsui. Short. Yeah. Well put away. 11, 80. 
Uh, I thought about leaving it, I think, for a yeah. moment. That's when it's that short, you might as well put it away. Oh, that's clever. Both teams down. I don't believe it. <laughs> well, that's drifted wide. 12, 18. Yeah, great effort. Great effort from both of them. simply don't understand that. There's been an awful lot of flick serving already in the match service from the over. Japanese pair. 19, Do you think one's lost 12. confidence on the low serve, having made three service errors? I think it's a possibility. Yeah. I think it's a possibility. Another good serve from Kim Astro. 20, game point. Game point 12. opportunities. It, it, it's really tumbling a lot, the serve from Kim Astrup. Yeah, first time of asking. And the opening game to the World Championship bronze medalist. Yeah, Number seven seeds right, here Astrup, at the All Anna England Scarab Championships. Kim Astrup 12. and Anna's Orasmussen. Comfortable, positive from the start. 12 <laughs> for Catch any of that, Steen? Yeah, that was uh, that was interesting. The Danes were uh, talking a lot about uh, the differences to the sides saying that the, the Japanese pair had pushed a lot in the first game and, and some of those are simply going to go long. But they're also a little bit concerned whether if they are below um, the tape and lifting the Danes that uh, they might lift too short. And then one very, very interesting thing, Kim Astor saying, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm um, quitting the spin serve here in the beginning, Part simply one, because of the seconds. drift, I think. Part one, 20 seconds. Yeah, interesting. Or maybe also wanting to save it into more crucial moments. Perhaps, perhaps. Play. Oh, here we go, second game. Danes one game to the good. Oh. Oh, it sounded like a mishit to me. One yeah. love. Well, Danes were very um, alert to the fact that they're going to have to fight for the initiative here. They cannot become too passive. If they stand too far back on the court, then plays into the hand of uh, Matsui and Takuchi, but they haven't really Two, been into the game yet, uh, the Japanese pair, in my opinion. Well, I think I'd agree with you on that, Steen, so the obvious question is, Three, how look. do they play themselves back in? Yeah. It seems like they can't really outmaneuver the Danes on the front court um, and, and get the lift. So, um, so it seems really difficult because they somehow have to um, do what what's not expected. Right now, if they want to play the front oh, court, it's over covered by the two Danes. So they're going to have to um, flick serve or dare to lift. Doubles. 
but do Who's it without the of course pushing it long, Japan. which is and the danger playing uh, the with champions. the drift. Yuta Watanabe and Arisa uh, Higashino. Right, right now it's a catastrophe for um, um, and their opponents Matsui and Takuchi. Indonesia, Dejan, and I, I would, uh, and yeah, and then Gloria, he does it, Emmanuel ask for a towel Jaja. down, no. sort of... Um, yeah, it's good umpiring, so yeah. it doesn't allow it because it was obviously he was trying to. Use <laughs> he was that trying as a, to find something. Yeah, a tactical break. Yeah. Oh, that's miles long. Six left. And I mean, they haven't set a foot right here in the uh, second game. Kimastro has scored six points in his serve. Good drop shot. Seven. And they're moving backwards, Look. the Japanese, and, and the Danes clever. Uh, take the pace out of the rally first, so the Japanese have to lift and they get a controlled attack situation, so to speak. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, it's nice play by the Japanese there, the first time One, that they've really seven. taken the initiative. Yeah, but when, you, when you've lost the first game to 12 and a down, love 7-1-7 seven, seven in the second game, you need a bit of luck. You need the Danes to take the foot off the pedal and uh, sort of uh, become uh, too content, too sure that they're going to win, and then you have to up your game as well. Oh, my goodness. Between the leg shot. From Takauchi. Not sure that that's going Service to over. help their cause. Eight, one. Attempt by the Japanese pair to turn turn their defensive play around. No. Oh, oh. That's wild. My oh, goodness me. Nine one. Beautiful play by the two Danes. Yeah. Finished off with a wonderful backhand smash Ten, from Rasmussen. Oh. It's long as well. No, they're yeah. challenging that. I don't think they'll win that challenge. No. Hechiria Matsui challenges called out talked about in the uh, interval between the two games that the Japanese were going to push and it was likely that some of them was going to go long. Oh, but then this one. Word. That is the Correction surprise. in. Service over. 2-10. Play. Oh, they're going challenge that yeah, as well. No, I, I thought that, that was in as well. Takeuchi challenges called out. What does the instant review say? Oh. Challenge unsuccessful. I'm surprised at that. Service over. 11-2. Interval. So, 
it is an 11-2 advantage for the Danes, having already won the first game. And they look to be cruising. Yeah. 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 Uh, you were coaching the Japanese pair at the moment. So you, you, do you give them one thing to focus 11, on, or do you two. try and get them to believe they Wait. can win? What, what, what's the philosophy? I try to sneak out without anybody watching me. <laughs> you but, can't do that. <laughs> but it, it's really difficult because obviously nothing has worked. And, no. and I think the best thing you can do is sort of take the... Um, sort of uh, seriousness a little bit out of it and smile and say, OK, we're, we're playing so bad that it's just, uh, I mean... Would you seriously say that to yes, your players? Yes, I would, because they are playing bad and they know it themselves. They, I mean, the scoreboard doesn't lie. It's not like they've been unlucky or anything. So I, I, would, uh, I would try to loosen the situation up a little bit and say, OK, we cannot... We, we must expect that the match is gone. Service over. But we have to focus 12, on playing three. each rally as good as we possibly can today. And we, we probably don't have our A game today, maybe not even our B mm. game. So let, let's see if we can go to B level and at least make sure that we um, that we stay on court for some time and, and score some points so that we can have an idea of how we are uh, moving on from here. 13-3. Yeah. But uh, looking back at, at some of the results, I think maybe we've overestimated um, the Japanese pair a little bit. Um, uh, looking at um, at who they played against, um, then it's um, it's few of the top pairs that they've actually um, defeated um, since uh, the lockdown. Um, they did have three games against the world number one skinny and Sukumolio at the Indonesia Super 1000 event at the end of last year. Yeah, they did. They did, and, and that's, that's but OK. But it was very slow shuttles. It was extremely slow shuttles, and um, I, I don't know for sure, but I, I, um, I heard some rumours that, um, that Mark Skidian was not totally fit, that he was Three. actually uh, supposed to uh, take a break because of problems with his um, stomach muscles or something. I don't know if that's correct. Yeah. But it could be an explanation on, on some of the things that we've seen. Just wide. Yeah. Service over. Four fifteen. It's a good return of serve, isn't it? Flat push. Service over. Far too fast for the front court player to intercept. And straight at the body of the rear court player. Flat. And, and uh, I mean, of course, we also have to give credit to the Danes for, for playing really well because they're having one of their good days. Yeah. So the Japanese have got them started and um, and they haven't let up and all credit to them for, for keep four. going and keep playing as good as possible and, and they're having one of those days where you want to say to your opponent hey guys do you want to you want to go down in the basement and play a, a third game <laughs> where the uh, warm-up courts are here in the um, utility arena well, i think this match could be over in less than half an hour you know? yeah and and um it wasn't because, I mean, the Danes, they had, at least Anas, who I talked to this morning, he, he had a lot of respect for this Japanese pair. Oh, behind the back. Uh, 
Nice well played. change of yeah. pace from Matsui. Six, 17. It's a better rally, isn't it? Yeah, it's a much better rally. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Yeah, delightful change of pace from Kim Astrup. Service over. 18-6. Fast pushes. And then he changes it up to the little block, forces the error. This rally so far. Service over. Seven eighteen. Oh. Oh. Yes, another rush. Oh, service yeah. over. Nineteen. Oh, no, seven. Now on the return. Paid dividends. Match point. So match point opportunities, seven. a whole host of them. For the number seven seeds, Astrup and Rasmussen. Game! Only needed the one. Well, what a performance by the Danes. And indeed, it is under half an hour for the entirety of the match. Match won no. by Kim Astrup. And Absolutely Anas, uh, from Sarah Rasmussen, 21 level. 12, 21 7. They were looking to attack, they were looking to be positive, and their reward is a very convincing second round victory over Matsui and Takauchi. Time former champions Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan. Confirmation of the scoreline 21-12, 21-7 in 29 minutes.
So welcome back to the Utilita Arena here in Birmingham. Venue for the Yonix All England Championships. We've been here since 